Hooke's law is a law of physics that states that the force F needed to extend or compress a spring by some distance x scales linearly with respect to that distance. That is F S equals K X display style F underscore S equals K X where k is a constant factor characteristic of the spring, its stiffness, and x is small compared to the total possible deformation of the spring. The law is named after 17th-century British physicist Robert Hooke. He first stated the law in 1676 as a Latin anagram. He published the solution of his anagram in 1678 as, ut tensio, sic vis, as the extension, so the force, or the extension is proportional to the force." Hooke states in the 1678 work that he was aware of the law already in 1660. Hooke's equation holds to some extent in many other situations where an elastic body is deformed, such as wind blowing on a tall building, and a musician plucking a string of a guitar. An elastic body or material for which this equation can be assumed is said to be linear elastic or Hookean. Hooke's law is only a first-order linear approximation to the real response of springs and other elastic bodies to applied forces. It must eventually fail once the forces exceed some limit, since no material can be compressed beyond a certain minimum size, or stretched beyond a maximum size, without some permanent deformation or change of state. Many materials will noticeably deviate from Hooke's law well before those elastic limits are reached. On the other hand, Hooke's law is an accurate approximation for most solid bodies, as long as the forces and deformations are small enough. For this reason, Hooke's law is extensively used in all branches of science and engineering, and is the foundation of many disciplines such as seismology, molecular mechanics and acoustics. It is also the fundamental principle behind the spring scale, the manometer, and the balance wheel of the mechanical clock. The modern theory of elasticity generalizes Hooke's law to say that the strain deformation of an elastic object or material is proportional to the stress applied to it. However, since general stresses and strains may have multiple independent components, the proportionality factor may no longer be just a single real number, but rather a linear map a tensor that can be represented by a matrix of real numbers. In this general form, Hooke's law makes it possible to deduce the relation between strain and stress for complex objects in terms of intrinsic properties of the materials it is made of. For example, one can deduce that a homogeneous rod with uniform cross-section will behave like a simple spring when stretched, with a stiffness k directly proportional to its cross-section area and inversely proportional to its length. Topic. Formal definition Topic. For linear springs Consider a simple helical spring that has one end attached to some fixed object, while the free end is being pulled by a force whose magnitude is F S Display style F underscore S. Suppose that the spring has reached a state of equilibrium, where its length is not changing anymore. Let x be the amount by which the free end of the spring was displaced from its relaxed position when it is not being stretched. Hooke's law states that F S equals K X display style f underscore s equals kx or equivalently x equals f s k display style x equals frac f underscore s k where k is a positive real number characteristic of the spring moreover the same formula holds when the spring is compressed with f S display style f underscore s and x both negative in that case. 
According to this formula, the graph of the applied force F S display style F underscore S as a function of the displacement x will be a straight line passing through the origin, whose slope is k. Hooke's law for a spring is often stated under the convention that f s display style f underscore s is the restoring force exerted by the spring on whatever is pulling its free end. In that case, the equation becomes f s equals minus k x display style f underscore s equals k x since the direction of the restoring force is opposite to that of the displacement topic general scalar springs Hooke's spring law usually applies to any elastic object, of arbitrary complexity, as long as both the deformation and the stress can be expressed by a single number that can be both positive and negative. For example, when a block of rubber attached to two parallel plates is deformed by shearing, rather than stretching or compression, the shearing force F S and the sideways displacement of the plates X obey Hooke's law for small enough deformations. Hooke's law also applies when a straight steel bar or concrete beam, supported at both ends, is bent by a weight F placed at some intermediate point. The displacement X in this case is the deviation of the beam, measured in the transversal direction, relative to its unloaded shape. The law also applies when a stretched steel wire is twisted by pulling on a lever attached to one end. In this case the stress F S display style F underscore S can be taken as the force applied to the lever, and X as the distance traveled by it along its circular path. Or, equivalently, one can let F S display style f underscore s be the torque applied by the lever to the end of the wire and x be the angle by which that end turns in either case f s display style f underscore s is proportional to x although the constant k is different in each case Topic. Vector formulation In the case of a helical spring that is stretched or compressed along its axis, the applied or restoring force and the resulting elongation or compression have the same direction, which is the direction of said axis. Therefore, if F S display style F underscore S and x are defined as vectors, Hooke's equation still holds and says that the force vector is the elongation vector multiplied by a fixed scalar. Topic. General tensor form Some elastic bodies will deform in one direction when subjected to a force with a different direction. One example is a horizontal wood beam with non-square rectangular cross-section that is bent by a transverse load that is neither vertical nor horizontal. In such cases, the magnitude of the displacement x will be proportional to the magnitude of the force f s display style f underscore s as long as the direction of the latter remains the same, and its value is not too large, so the scalar version of Hooke's law F S equals minus K X display style F underscore S equals K X will hold. However, the force and displacement vectors will not be scalar multiples of each other, since they have different directions. Moreover, the ratio k between their magnitudes will depend on the direction of the vector f s 
display style f underscore s. Yet, in such cases there is often a fixed linear relation between the force and deformation vectors, as long as they are small enough. Namely, there is a function kappa from vectors to vectors, such that f topic kappa x and kappa alpha x1 plus beta x2 ak x1 plus bk x2 for any real numbers alpha beta and any displacement vectors x1 x2 such a function is called a second order tensor with respect to an arbitrary Cartesian coordinate system, the force and displacement vectors can be represented by three times one matrices of real numbers. Then the tensor kappa connecting them can be represented by a three times three matrix kappa of real coefficients, that, when multiplied by the displacement vector, gives the force vector f, f equals f one f. 2 f 3 equals kappa 11 kappa 12 kappa 13 kappa 21 kappa 22 kappa 23 kappa 31 kappa 32 kappa 33 x1 x2 x3 equals kappa x display style math bf f equals begin b matrix f underscore 1 f underscore 2 f underscore 3 end b matrix equals begin b matrix kappa underscore 11 and kappa underscore 12 and kappa underscore 13 kappa underscore 21 and kappa underscore 22 and kappa underscore 23 Kappa underscore thirty one and Kappa underscore thirty two and Kappa underscore thirty three end B matrix begin B matrix X underscore one X underscore two X underscore three end B matrix equals bold symbol Kappa Math BF X that is FI equals Kappa I one X one plus Kappa I two X two plus Kappa I three X three Display style f underscore i equals kappa underscore i one x underscore one plus kappa underscore i two x underscore two plus kappa underscore i three x underscore three for i. Topic one two three. Therefore, Hooke's law f. Kappa x can be said to hold also when x and f are vectors with variable directions, except that the stiffness of the object is a tensor kappa, rather than a single real number k. Hooke's <laughs> law for continuous media The stresses and strains of the material inside a continuous elastic material such as a block of rubber, the wall of a boiler, or a steel bar are connected by a linear relationship that is mathematically similar to Hooke's spring law, and is often referred to by that name. However, the strain state in a solid medium around some point cannot be described by a single vector. The same parcel of material, no matter how small, can be compressed, stretched, and sheared at the same time, along different directions. Likewise, the stresses in that parcel can be at once pushing, pulling, and shearing. In order to capture this complexity, the relevant state of the medium around a point must be represented by two second-order tensors, the strain tensor epsilon in lieu of the displacement x and the stress tensor sigma replacing the restoring force f. The analog of Hooke's spring law for continuous media is then sigma equals minus c epsilon Display style bold symbol sigma equals math bf c bold symbol ver epsilon, where c is a fourth order tensor, that is, a linear map between second order tensors, usually called the stiffness tensor or elasticity tensor. One may also write it as 
epsilon equals minus s sigma display style bold symbol var epsilon equals math bf s bold symbol sigma where the tensor s called the compliance tensor represents the inverse of said linear map in a Cartesian coordinate system, the stress and strain tensors can be represented by three times three matrices. Epsilon equals epsilon eleven, epsilon twelve, epsilon thirteen, epsilon twenty one, epsilon twenty two. Epsilon twenty three Epsilon thirty one Epsilon thirty two Epsilon thirty three Sigma equals Sigma eleven Sigma twelve, sigma thirteen, sigma twenty one, sigma twenty two, sigma twenty three, sigma thirty one, sigma thirty two, sigma thirty three. Display style bold symbol var epsilon equals begin b matrix var epsilon underscore eleven and var epsilon underscore twelve and var epsilon underscore thirteen var epsilon underscore twenty one and var epsilon underscore twenty two and var epsilon underscore twenty three var epsilon underscore thirty one and var epsilon underscore 32 and for epsilon underscore 33 end B matrix Q quad bold symbol Sigma equals begin B matrix Sigma underscore 11 and Sigma underscore 12 and Sigma underscore 13 Sigma underscore 21 and Sigma underscore 22 and Sigma underscore 23 Sigma underscore 31 and Sigma underscore 32 and Sigma underscore 33 end B matrix being a linear mapping between the nine numbers sigma i j and the nine numbers epsilon k l, the stiffness tensor C is represented by a matrix of three times three times three times three equals eighty one real numbers C i j k l. Hooke's law then says that sigma i j equals minus k equals one. Three L equals one three C I J K L Epsilon K L Display style sigma underscore i j equals sum underscore k equals one carrot three sum underscore l equals one carrot three c underscore i j k l var epsilon underscore k l, where i j equals one two three. All three tenses generally vary from point to point inside the medium and may vary with time as well. The strain tensor epsilon merely specifies the displacement of the medium particles in the neighborhood of the point, while the stress tensor sigma specifies the forces that neighboring parcels of the medium are exerting on each other. Therefore, they are independent of the composition and physical state of the material. The stiffness tensor C, on the other hand, is a property of the material, and often depends on physical state variables such as temperature, pressure, and microstructure. Due to the inherent symmetries of sigma, epsilon, and C, only 21 elastic coefficients of the latter are independent. For isotropic media which have the same physical properties in any direction, C can be reduced to only two independent numbers, the bulk modulus K and the shear modulus G, that quantify the material's resistance to changes in volume and to shearing deformations, respectively. <laughs> <laughs> Analogous laws Since Hooke's law is a simple proportionality between two quantities, its formulas and consequences are mathematically similar to those of many other physical laws, such as those describing the motion of fluids, or the polarization of a dielectric by an electric field. In particular, the tensor equation sigma. 
Topic: C epsilon relating elastic stresses to strains is entirely similar to the equation tau. Mi relating the viscous stress tensor tau and the strain rate tensor E in flows of viscous fluids, although the former pertains to static stresses related to amount of deformation, while the latter pertains to dynamical stresses related to the rate of deformation. Topic: <laughs> Units of measurement. In SI units, displacements are measured in meters m, and forces in newtons n or kilogram meter per square second. Therefore, the spring constant K, and each element of the tensor kappa, is measured in newtons per meter n per meter, or kilograms per second squared kilogram per square second. For continuous media, each element of the stress tensor sigma is a force divided by an area, it is therefore measured in units of pressure, namely pascals, pa, or n per square meter, or kilogram, ms2. The elements of the strain tensor epsilon are dimensionless, displacements divided by distances. Therefore, the entries of Cijkl are also expressed in units of pressure. Topic. General application to elastic materials Objects that quickly regain their original shape after being deformed by a force, with the molecules or atoms of their material returning to the initial state of stable equilibrium, often obey Hooke's law. Hooke's law only holds for some materials under certain loading conditions. Steel exhibits linear elastic behavior in most engineering applications. Hooke's law is valid for it throughout its elastic range, i.e., for stresses below the yield strength. For some other materials, such as aluminium, Hooke's law is only valid for a portion of the elastic range. For these materials, a proportional limit stress is defined, below which the errors associated with the linear approximation are negligible. Rubber is generally regarded as a non-Hookean material because its elasticity is stress-dependent and sensitive to temperature and loading rate. Generalizations of Hooke's law for the case of large deformations is provided by models of Neo-Hookean solids and Mooney-Rivlin solids. Topic. Derived formulae Topic. Tensional stress of a uniform bar A rod of any elastic material may be viewed as a linear spring. The rod has length L and cross-sectional area A. Its tensile stress sigma is linearly proportional to its fractional extension or strain epsilon by the modulus of elasticity E. Sigma equals E epsilon display style sigma equals e ver epsilon the modulus of elasticity may often be considered constant in turn epsilon equals delta l l display style ver epsilon equals frac delta l l that is the fractional change in length and since Sigma equals F A display style sigma equals frac F A. It follows that epsilon equals sigma E equals F A E. Display style ver epsilon equals frac sigma e equals frac f air. The change in length may be expressed as delta l equals epsilon l equals f l a e. Display style delta L equals ver epsilon L equals frac F L air.
Topic: Spring energy. The potential energy UEL X stored in a spring is given by U E L X equals 1 2 K X 2 Display style U underscore Mathram L X equals T F R A C 1 2 K X carrot 2 which comes from adding up the energy it takes to incrementally compress the spring. That is, the integral of force over displacement. Since the external force has the same general direction as the displacement, the potential energy of a spring is always non-negative. This potential UEL can be visualized as a parabola on the UX plane such that UEL x equals 1 half kx2. As the spring is stretched in the positive x direction, the potential energy increases parabolically, the same thing happens as the spring is compressed. Since the change in potential energy changes at a constant rate, d 2 u e l d x 2 equals k Display style frac d carrot two u underscore mathram l d x carrot two equals k. Note that the change in the change in u is constant even when the displacement and acceleration are zero. Topic: Relaxed force constants, generalized compliance constants. Relaxed force constants, the inverse of generalized compliance constants, are uniquely defined for molecular systems, in contradistinction to the usual, rigid, force constants, and thus their use allows meaningful correlations to be made between force fields calculated for reactants, transition states, and products of a chemical reaction. Just as the potential energy can be written as a quadratic form in the internal coordinates, so it can also be written in terms of generalized forces. The resulting coefficients are termed compliance constants. A direct method exists for calculating the compliance constant for any internal coordinate of a molecule, without the need to do the normal mode analysis. The suitability of relaxed force constants, inverse compliance constants, as covalent bond strength descriptors was demonstrated as early as 1980. Recently, the suitability as non-covalent bond strength descriptors was demonstrated too. Topic: Harmonic oscillator. A mass m attached to the end of a spring is a classic example of a harmonic oscillator. By pulling slightly on the mass and then releasing it, the system will be set in sinusoidal oscillating motion about the equilibrium position. To the extent that the spring obeys Hooke's law, and that one can neglect friction and the mass of the spring, the amplitude of the oscillation will remain constant, and its frequency f will be independent of its amplitude, determined only by the mass and the stiffness of the spring. F equals one two pi k m display style f equals frac one two pi sqrt frac k m. This phenomenon made possible the construction of accurate mechanical clocks and watches that could be carried on ships and people's pockets. Topic. Rotation in gravity-free space If the mass m were attached to a spring with force constant k and rotating in free space, the spring tension Ft would supply the required centripetal force Fc F T equals k x F C equals m omega 2 r 
display style f underscore mathrm t equals k x q quad f underscore mathrm c equals m omega caret two r. Since f t topic f c and x r then k equals m omega 2 display style k equals m omega caret 2 given that omega equals 2 pi f this leads to the same frequency equation as above f equals 1 2 pi k m display style f equals frac 1 2 pi sqrt frac km topic linear elasticity theory for continuous media note the einstein summation convention of summing on repeated indices is used below Topic: Isotropic materials. Isotropic materials are characterized by properties which are independent of direction in space. Physical equations involving isotropic materials must therefore be independent of the coordinate system chosen to represent them. The strain tensor is a symmetric tensor. Since the trace of any tensor is independent of any coordinate system, the most complete coordinate-free decomposition of a symmetric tensor is to represent it as the sum of a constant tensor and a traceless symmetric tensor. Thus in index notation epsilon i j equals 1 3 epsilon k K delta I J plus epsilon I J minus one three epsilon K K delta I J Display style ver epsilon underscore i j equals left t f r a c one three ver epsilon underscore k k delta underscore i j right plus left ver epsilon underscore i j t f r a c one three ver epsilon underscore k k delta underscore i j right, where delta i j is the Kronecker delta. In direct tensor notation, epsilon equals volume epsilon plus dev epsilon volume epsilon equals 1 3 tr epsilon i dev epsilon equals epsilon Minus volume epsilon display style bold symbol ver epsilon equals operator name volume bold symbol ver epsilon plus operator name dev bold symbol ver epsilon q quad operator name volume bold symbol ver epsilon equals tfrac one three operator name tr bold symbol ver epsilon tilde math bf i q quad operator name dev bold symbol ver epsilon equals bold symbol ver epsilon operator name volume bold symbol for epsilon where i is the second order identity tensor the first term on the right is the constant tensor also known as the volumetric strain tensor and the second term is the traceless symmetric tensor also known as the deviatoric strain tensor or shear tensor the most general form of Hooke's law for isotropic materials may now be written as a linear combination of these two tensors Sigma I J equals three K 
one three epsilon k k delta i j plus two g epsilon i j minus one three epsilon k k delta i j sigma equals three k volume epsilon plus two g dev epsilon Display style sigma underscore i j equals three k left t f r a c one three ver epsilon underscore k k delta underscore i j right plus two g left ver epsilon underscore i j t f r a c one three ver epsilon underscore k k delta underscore i j right q quad bold symbol sigma equals three k operator name volume bold symbol ver epsilon plus two g operator name Dev bold symbol ver epsilon, where k is the bulk modulus and g is the shear modulus. Using the relationships between the elastic moduli, these equations may also be expressed in various other ways. A common form of Hooke's law for isotropic materials, expressed in direct tensor notation, is sigma equals lambda tr epsilon i plus 2 mu epsilon equals c epsilon c equals lambda i i plus 2 mu i Display style bold symbol sigma equals lambda operator name tr bold symbol ver epsilon math bf i plus two mu bold symbol ver epsilon equals math sf c bold symbol ver epsilon q quad math sf c equals lambda math bf i o times math bf i plus two mu math sf i where lambda Topic K minus two thirds G C one 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 minus two C twelve twelve and mu. Topic G C one two one two are the Lamé constants. I is the second rank identity tensor, and I is the symmetric part of the fourth rank identity tensor. In index notation, sigma i j equals lambda epsilon k k delta i j plus two mu epsilon I J equals C I J K L epsilon K L C I J K L equals Lambda Delta I J Delta K L plus mu Delta I K Delta J L plus Delta I L Delta J K 
Display style, sigma underscore, IJ equals lambda, varepsilon underscore, KK, tilde, delta underscore, IJ plus two, mu, varepsilon underscore, IJ equals C underscore, IJ KL, varepsilon underscore, KL, Q quad C underscore, IJ KL equals lambda, delta underscore, IJ, delta underscore, KL plus mu, left delta underscore, ik, delta underscore, JL plus delta underscore, eel tilde, delta underscore, JK, right. The inverse relationship is epsilon equals one two mu sigma minus lambda 2 mu 3 lambda plus 2 mu tr sigma i equals 1 2 g Sigma plus one nine K minus one six G TR Sigma I Display style, bold symbol, varepsilon, equals frac one, two, mu, bold symbol, sigma, frac, lambda, two, mu, three, lambda plus two, mu, operator name, TR, bold symbol, sigma, math BF, I equals frac one, two G, bold symbol, sigma. Plus left frac one nine k frac one six g right operator name TR, bold symbol, sigma, math BF, I. Therefore, the compliance tensor in the relation epsilon equals s sigma is s equals minus lambda two mu three lambda plus two mu i i plus one Two mu i equals one nine k minus one six g i i plus one two g i Display style math SF S equals frac lambda two mu three lambda plus two mu math BF I O times math BF I plus frac one two mu math SF I equals left frac one nine K frac one six G right math BF I O times mat HBF I plus frac one two G math SF I in terms of Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio, Hooke's law for isotropic materials can then be expressed as epsilon i j equals one e sigma i j minus nu sigma k k Delta I J minus Sigma I J Epsilon equals one E Sigma minus New TR Sigma I minus Sigma equals one plus new E sigma minus new E TR sigma I 
Display style var epsilon underscore i j equals frac one e big sigma underscore i j new sigma underscore k k delta underscore i j sigma underscore i j big q quad bold symbol var epsilon equals frac one e big bold symbol sigma new operator name t r bold symbol sigma math b f i bold symbol sigma big equals frac one plus new e bold symbol sigma frac new E operator name TR bold symbol sigma math BF I. This is the form in which the strain is expressed in terms of the stress tensor in engineering. The expression in expanded form is epsilon eleven equals one E sigma eleven minus new Sigma twenty two plus Sigma thirty three Epsilon twenty two equals one E Sigma twenty two minus new Sigma eleven plus Sigma thirty three Epsilon thirty three equals one E Sigma thirty three minus new Sigma eleven plus Sigma twenty two Epsilon Twelve equals one two G Sigma twelve Epsilon thirteen equals one two G Sigma thirteen Epsilon twenty three equals one two G sigma twenty three display style begin aligned ver epsilon underscore eleven and equals frac one E big sigma underscore eleven new sigma underscore twenty two plus sigma underscore thirty three big ver epsilon underscore twenty two and equals frac one E big sigma underscore twenty two new sigma underscore eleven plus sigma underscore thirty three big ver epsilon underscore thirty Thirty three and equals frac one E big sigma underscore thirty three new sigma underscore eleven plus sigma underscore twenty two big ver epsilon underscore twelve and equals frac one two G sigma underscore twelve Q quad ver epsilon underscore thirteen equals frac one two G sigma underscore thirteen Q quad ver epsilon underscore twenty three equals frac one two G sigma underscore 23 end aligned where e is young's modulus and new is poisson's ratio c3d elasticity in matrix form hooke's law for isotropic materials can be written as epsilon 11 epsilon 22 epsilon 33 2 epsilon Twenty three two Epsilon thirteen two Epsilon twelve equals Epsilon eleven Epsilon twenty two Epsilon thirty three Gamma twenty three Gamma thirteen Gamma twelve equals one E one minus new minus new zero 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 minus new one 
minus new zero 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 minus new minus new one zero 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 two plus two new zero 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 two plus two new zero 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 two plus two new sigma eleven sigma twenty two sigma thirty three sigma twenty three sigma thirteen Sigma twelve display style begin B matrix ver epsilon underscore eleven ver epsilon underscore twenty two ver epsilon underscore thirty three two ver epsilon underscore twenty three two ver epsilon underscore thirteen two ver epsilon underscore twelve end B matrix equals begin B matrix ver epsilon underscore eleven ver epsilon underscore twenty two ver epsilon underscore thirty three gamma underscore twenty Three gamma underscore thirteen gamma underscore twelve end B matrix equals frac one E begin B matrix one and new and new and zero and zero and zero new and one and new and zero and zero and zero new and new and one and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and two plus two new and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and two plus two new and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and two plus two new end B matrix begin B matrix sigma underscore eleven sigma underscore twenty two sigma underscore thirty three sigma underscore twenty three sigma underscore thirteen sigma underscore twelve end B matrix where gamma i j equals two epsilon i j is the engineering shear strain. The inverse relation may be written as sigma eleven Sigma twenty two Sigma thirty three Sigma twenty three Sigma thirteen Sigma twelve equals E one plus new one minus two New one minus new 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 zero 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 new one minus new new zero 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 new New one minus new zero 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 one minus two new two zero 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 one minus two new two zero 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 
O one minus two new two Epsilon eleven Epsilon twenty two Epsilon thirty three two Epsilon twenty three two Epsilon thirteen two Epsilon twelve Display style begin B matrix Sigma underscore eleven Sigma underscore twenty two Sigma underscore thirty three Sigma underscore twenty three Sigma underscore thirteen Sigma underscore twelve end B matrix equals Frac E one plus new one to two new begin B matrix one new and new and new and zero and zero and zero new and one new and new and zero and zero and zero new and new and one new and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and frac one to two new two and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and frac one to two new two and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and frac one to two new two end B matrix begin B matrix ver epsilon underscore eleven ver epsilon underscore twenty two ver epsilon underscore thirty three two ver epsilon underscore twenty three two ver epsilon underscore thirteen two ver epsilon underscore twelve end B matrix which can be simplified thanks to the Lamé constants sigma eleven sigma twenty two Sigma thirty three Sigma twenty three Sigma thirteen Sigma twelve equals two mu plus Lambda 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 zero 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 Lambda two mu plus Lambda Lambda zero 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 Lambda Lambda two mu plus Lambda zero 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 mu zero 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 mu zero 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 mu epsilon 11 epsilon 22 epsilon 33 2 epsilon 23 2 epsilon 13 2 epsilon 12 display style begin B matrix Sigma underscore 11 Sigma underscore 22 Sigma underscore 33 Sigma underscore 23 Sigma underscore 13 Sigma underscore 12 end B matrix equals begin B matrix 2 mu plus lambda and lambda and lambda and 0 and 0 and 0 lambda and 2 mu plus Lambda and Lambda and zero and zero and zero Lambda and Lambda and two mu plus Lambda and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and mu and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and mu and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and mu end B matrix begin B matrix ver epsilon underscore eleven ver epsilon underscore twenty two ver epsilon underscore thirty three two ver epsilon underscore twenty Three two ver epsilon underscore thirteen two ver epsilon underscore twelve end B matrix in vector notation this becomes sigma eleven sigma twelve sigma thirteen sigma twelve sigma twenty two sigma twenty three sigma thirteen sigma twenty three Sigma thirty three equals two mu epsilon eleven epsilon twelve epsilon thirteen 
epsilon 12 epsilon 22 epsilon 23 epsilon 13 epsilon 23 epsilon 33 plus lambda i epsilon 11 plus epsilon 22 plus epsilon 33 display style begin b matrix sigma underscore 11 and sigma underscore 12 and sigma underscore 13 sigma underscore 12 and sigma underscore 22 and sigma underscore 23 sigma underscore 13 and sigma underscore 23 and sigma underscore 33 end b matrix equals 2 mu begin b matrix var epsilon underscore 11 and var epsilon underscore 12 and var epsilon underscore 13 var epsilon underscore 12 and var epsilon underscore 22 and var epsilon underscore 23 var epsilon underscore 13 and var epsilon underscore 23 and var epsilon underscore 33 end b matrix plus lambda math bf i left var epsilon underscore 11 plus var epsilon underscore 22 plus var epsilon underscore 33 right where i is the identity tensor topic plane stress under plane stress conditions sigma 31 topic sigma 13 sigma 32 topic sigma 23 sigma 33 equals 0 in that case hooke's law takes the form epsilon 11 epsilon 22 2 epsilon 12 equals 1 e 1 minus new 0 minus new 1 0 0 0 2 plus 2 new sigma 11 sigma 22 Sigma 12 display style begin B matrix var epsilon underscore 11 var epsilon underscore 22 2 var epsilon underscore 12 end B matrix equals frac 1 e begin B matrix 1 and new and 0 new and 1 and 0 0 and 0 and 2 plus 2 new end B matrix begin B matrix Sigma underscore 11 Sigma underscore 22 Sigma underscore 12 end B matrix the inverse relation is usually written in the reduced form sigma 11 sigma 22 sigma 12 equals e1 minus new 2 1 new 0 new 1 0 0 0 1 minus new 2 epsilon 11 epsilon 22 2 epsilon 12 display style begin b matrix sigma underscore 11 sigma underscore 22 sigma underscore 12 end b matrix equals frac e 1 new carrot 2 begin b matrix 1 and new and 0 new and 1 and 0 0 and 0 and frac 1 new 2 end b matrix begin b matrix var epsilon underscore 11 var epsilon underscore 22 2 var epsilon underscore 12 end b matrix in vector notation this becomes sigma 11 sigma 12 sigma 12 sigma 22 equals e 1 minus new 2 1 minus new epsilon 11 epsilon 12 epsilon 12 epsilon 22 plus new i epsilon 11 plus epsilon 22 display style begin b matrix sigma underscore 11 and sigma underscore 12 sigma underscore 12 and sigma underscore 22 end b matrix equals frac e 1 new carrot 2 left 1 new begin b matrix var epsilon underscore 11 
11 and Verepsilon underscore 12 Verepsilon underscore 12 and Verepsilon underscore 22 end B matrix plus new math BF I left Verepsilon underscore 11 plus Verepsilon underscore 22 right right topic anisotropic materials the symmetry of the cauchy stress tensor sigma ij topic sigma g and the generalized hooks laws sigma ij cijkl epsilon kl implies that cijkl topic cjikl similarly the symmetry of the infinitesimal strain tensor implies that cijkl cijlk these symmetries are called the minor symmetries of the stiffness tensor c this reduces the number of elastic constants from 81 to 36 if in addition, since the displacement gradient and the Cauchy stress are work conjugate, the stress-strain relation can be derived from a strain energy density functional U, then sigma I J equals U epsilon I J C I J K L equals two U Epsilon I J Epsilon K L Display style sigma underscore i j equals frac partial u partial ver epsilon underscore i j quad implies quad c underscore i j k l equals frac partial carrot two u partial ver epsilon underscore i j partial ver epsilon underscore k l. The arbitrariness of the order of differentiation implies that c i j k l equals c k l i j. These are called the major symmetries of the stiffness tensor. This reduces the number of elastic constants from 36 to 21. The major and minor symmetries indicate that the stiffness tensor has only 21 independent components. Equals. <laughs> Topic: <laughs> Matrix representation, stiffness tensor. equals It is often useful to express the anisotropic form of Hooke's law in matrix notation also called Voigt notation To do this we take advantage of the symmetry of the stress and strain tensors and express them as six dimensional vectors in an orthonormal coordinate system E1 E2 E3 as sigma equals sigma 11 Sigma twenty two Sigma thirty three Sigma twenty three Sigma thirteen Sigma twelve Sigma one Sigma two Sigma three Sigma Four Sigma five Sigma six Epsilon equals Epsilon eleven Epsilon twenty two Epsilon thirty three two Epsilon twenty three two Epsilon thirteen two Epsilon twelve Epsilon one Epsilon two Epsilon three Epsilon four 
epsilon 5 epsilon 6 display style bold symbol sigma equals begin b matrix sigma underscore 11 sigma underscore 22 sigma underscore 33 sigma underscore 23 sigma underscore 13 sigma underscore 12 end b matrix equivalent begin b matrix sigma underscore 1 sigma underscore 2 sigma underscore 3 sigma underscore 4 sigma underscore 5 sigma underscore 6 end b matrix q quad bold symbol var epsilon equals begin b matrix var epsilon underscore 11 var epsilon underscore 22 var epsilon underscore 33 2 var epsilon underscore 23 2 var epsilon underscore 13 2 var epsilon underscore 12 end b matrix equivalent begin b matrix var epsilon underscore 1 var epsilon underscore 2 var epsilon underscore 3 var epsilon underscore 4 var epsilon underscore 5 var epsilon underscore 6 end b matrix then the stiffness tensor c can be expressed as c equals c 11 11 c 11 22 c 11 33 C eleven twenty three C eleven thirty one C eleven twelve C two thousand two hundred and eleven C two thousand two hundred and twenty two C two thousand two hundred and thirty three C Two thousand two hundred and twenty three C two thousand two hundred and thirty one C two thousand two hundred and twelve C three thousand three hundred and eleven C three thousand three hundred and twenty two C three thousand three hundred and thirty three C three thousand three hundred and twenty three C three thousand three hundred and thirty one C three thousand three hundred and twelve C two thousand three hundred and eleven C two thousand three hundred and twenty two C two thousand three hundred and thirty three C two thousand three hundred and twenty three C two thousand three hundred and thirty one C two thousand three hundred and twelve C three thousand one hundred and eleven C three thousand one hundred and twenty two C three thousand one hundred and thirty three C three thousand one hundred and twenty three C three thousand one hundred and thirty one C three thousand one hundred and twelve C twelve eleven C twelve twenty two C twelve thirty three C twelve twenty three C twelve thirty one C twelve twelve C eleven C twelve C thirteen C fourteen C fifteen C sixteen C twelve C twenty two C twenty three C twenty four C twenty five C twenty six C thirteen 
C twenty three C thirty three C thirty four C thirty five C thirty six C fourteen C twenty four C thirty four C forty four C forty five C forty six C fifteen C twenty five C thirty five C forty five C fifty five C fifty six C sixteen C twenty six C thirty six C forty six C fifty six C sixty six display style Math SF C equals begin B matrix C underscore eleven eleven and C underscore eleven twenty two and C underscore eleven thirty three and C underscore eleven twenty three and C underscore eleven thirty one and C underscore eleven twelve C underscore two thousand Two hundred and eleven and C underscore two thousand two hundred and twenty two and C underscore two thousand two hundred and thirty three and C underscore two thousand two hundred and twenty three and C underscore two thousand two hundred and thirty one and C underscore two thousand two hundred and twelve C underscore three thousand three hundred and eleven and C underscore three thousand three hundred and twenty two and C underscore three thousand three hundred and thirty three and C underscore three thousand three hundred and twenty three and C underscore three thousand three hundred and thirty one and C underscore three thousand three hundred and twelve C underscore two thousand three hundred and eleven and C underscore two thousand three hundred and twenty two and C underscore two thousand three hundred and thirty three and C underscore two thousand three hundred and twenty three and C underscore two thousand three hundred and thirty one and C underscore two thousand three hundred and twelve C underscore three thousand one hundred and eleven and C underscore three thousand one hundred and twenty two and C underscore three thousand one hundred and thirty three and C underscore three thousand one hundred and twenty three and C underscore three thousand one hundred and thirty one and C underscore three thousand one hundred and twelve C underscore twelve eleven and C underscore twelve twenty two and C underscore twelve thirty three and C underscore twelve twenty Twenty three and C underscore twelve thirty one and C underscore twelve twelve end B matrix equivalent begin B matrix C underscore eleven and C underscore twelve and C underscore thirteen and C underscore fourteen and C underscore fifteen and C underscore sixteen C underscore twelve and C underscore twenty two and C underscore twenty three and C underscore twenty four and C underscore twenty five and C underscore twenty six C underscore thirteen and C underscore twenty three and C underscore thirty three and C underscore thirty four and C underscore thirty five and C underscore thirty six C underscore fourteen and C underscore twenty four and C underscore thirty four and C underscore forty four and C underscore forty five and C underscore forty six C underscore fifteen and C underscore twenty five and C underscore thirty five and C underscore forty five and C underscore fifty five and C underscore fifty six C underscore sixteen and C underscore twenty six and C underscore thirty six and C underscore forty six and C underscore fifty six and C underscore sixty six end B matrix and Hooke's law is written as sigma equals C epsilon or sigma I equals C I J epsilon on J display style bold symbol Sigma equals math SF C bold symbol ver epsilon Q quad text or Q quad Sigma underscore I equals C underscore IJ ver epsilon underscore J similarly the compliance tensor s can be written as s equals s 11 s Eleven twenty two S eleven thirty three two S eleven twenty three two S 
eleven thirty one two S eleven twelve S two thousand two hundred and eleven S two thousand two hundred and twenty two S two thousand two hundred and thirty three two S two thousand two hundred and twenty three two S two thousand two hundred and thirty one two S two thousand two hundred and twelve S three thousand three hundred and eleven S three thousand three hundred and twenty two S three thousand three hundred and thirty three two S three thousand three hundred and twenty three two S three thousand three hundred and thirty one two S three thousand three hundred and twelve two S two thousand three hundred and eleven two S two thousand three hundred and twenty two two S two thousand three hundred and thirty three four S two thousand three hundred and twenty three four S two thousand three hundred and thirty one four S two thousand three hundred and twelve two S three thousand one hundred and eleven two S three thousand one hundred and twenty two two S three thousand one hundred and thirty three four S three thousand one hundred and twenty three four S three thousand one hundred and thirty one four S three thousand one hundred and twelve two S twelve eleven two S twelve twenty two two S twelve thirty three four S twelve twenty three four S twelve thirty one four S twelve twelve S eleven S twelve S thirteen S fourteen S fifteen S sixteen S twelve S twenty two S twenty three S twenty four S twenty five S twenty six S thirteen S twenty three S thirty three S thirty four S thirty five S thirty six S fourteen S twenty four S thirty four S forty four S forty five S forty six S fifteen S twenty five S thirty five S forty five S fifty five S fifty six S sixteen S twenty six 
S thirty six S forty six S fifty six S sixty six display style math SFS equals begin V matrix S underscore eleven eleven and S underscore eleven twenty two and S underscore eleven thirty three and twos underscore eleven twenty three and twos underscore eleven thirty one and twos underscore eleven twelve S underscore two thousand two hundred and eleven and S underscore two thousand two hundred and twenty two and S underscore two thousand two hundred and thirty three and twos underscore two thousand two hundred and twenty three and twos underscore two thousand two hundred and thirty one and twos underscore two thousand two hundred and twelve S underscore three thousand three hundred and eleven and S underscore three thousand three hundred and twenty two and S underscore three thousand three hundred and thirty three and twos underscore three thousand three hundred and twenty three and twos underscore three thousand three hundred and thirty one and twos underscore three thousand three hundred and twelve twos underscore two thousand three hundred and eleven and twos underscore two thousand three hundred and twenty two and twos underscore two thousand three hundred and thirty three and fours underscore two thousand three hundred and twenty three and fours underscore two thousand three hundred and thirty one and fours underscore two thousand three hundred and twelve twos underscore three thousand one hundred and eleven and twos underscore three thousand one hundred and twenty two and twos underscore three thousand one hundred and thirty three and fours underscore three thousand one hundred and twenty three and fours underscore three thousand one hundred and thirty one and fours underscore three thousand one hundred and twelve twos underscore twelve eleven and twos underscore twelve twenty two and twos underscore twelve thirty three and fours underscore twelve twenty three and fours underscore twelve thirty one and fours underscore twelve twelve end B matrix equivalent Begin B matrix S underscore eleven and S underscore twelve and S underscore thirteen and S underscore fourteen and S underscore fifteen and S underscore sixteen S underscore twelve and S underscore twenty two and S underscore twenty three and S underscore twenty four and S underscore twenty five and S underscore twenty six S underscore thirteen and S underscore twenty three and S underscore thirty three and S underscore Score thirty four and S underscore thirty five and S underscore thirty six S underscore fourteen and S underscore twenty four and S underscore thirty four and S underscore forty four and S underscore forty five and S underscore forty six S underscore fifteen and S underscore twenty five and S underscore thirty five and S underscore forty five and S underscore fifty five and S underscore fifty six S underscore 16 and s underscore 26 and s underscore 36 and s underscore 46 and s underscore 56 and s underscore 66 and b matrix topic change of coordinate system If a linear elastic material is rotated from a reference configuration to another, then the material is symmetric with respect to the rotation if the components of the stiffness tensor in the rotated configuration are related to the components in the reference configuration by the relation C P Q R S equals L P I L Q J L R K L S L C I J K L Display style C underscore PQRS equals L underscore Pi L underscore QJ L underscore RK L underscore SL C underscore IJKL Where lab are the components of an orthogonal rotation matrix L. The same relation also holds for inversions. In matrix notation, if the transformed basis rotated or inverted is related to the reference basis by E I equals L 
E I Display style Math BF E underscore I equals L Math BF E underscore I Then C I J Epsilon I Epsilon J equals C I J Epsilon I Epsilon J Display style C underscore I J Ver Epsilon underscore I Ver Epsilon underscore J equals C underscore I J Ver Epsilon underscore I Ver Epsilon underscore J in addition, if the material is symmetric with respect to the transformation L, then C I J equals C I J C I J epsilon I epsilon J minus Epsilon I Epsilon J equals zero. Display style C underscore I J equals C underscore I J quad implies quad C underscore I J ver epsilon underscore I ver epsilon underscore J ver epsilon underscore I ver epsilon underscore J equals zero. Topic: Orthotropic materials. Orthotropic materials have three orthogonal planes of symmetry. If the basis vectors e1, e2, e3 are normals to the planes of symmetry, then the coordinate transformation relations imply that sigma 1, sigma 2, sigma 3. Sigma four Sigma five Sigma six equals C eleven C twelve C thirteen zero 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 C Twelve C twenty two C twenty three zero 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 C thirteen C twenty three C thirty three zero 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 C forty four zero 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 C five five O O O O O O C sixty six Epsilon one Epsilon two Epsilon three Epsilon four Epsilon five Epsilon six Display style begin B matrix Sigma underscore one Sigma underscore two Sigma underscore three Sigma underscore four Sigma underscore five Sigma underscore six end B matrix equals begin B matrix C underscore eleven and C underscore twelve and C underscore 13 and 0 and 0 and 0 C underscore 12 and C underscore 22 and C underscore 23 and 0 and 0 and 0 C underscore 13 and C underscore 23 and C underscore 33 and 0 and 0 and 0 0 and 0 and 0 and C underscore 44 and 0 and 0 0 and 0 and 0 and 0 and C underscore 55 and 0 0 and 0 and 0 and 0 and 0 and C underscore 66 and B may 
matrix begin B matrix var epsilon underscore one var epsilon underscore two var epsilon underscore three var epsilon underscore four var epsilon underscore five var epsilon underscore six end B matrix the inverse of this relation is commonly written as epsilon x x epsilon y y epsilon z z two epsilon y z two epsilon z x two epsilon x y equals one e x minus new y x e y minus new z x e z 0 0 0 minus new x y e x 1 e y minus new z y e z 0 0 0 minus new x z e x minus new y z e y 1 e z 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 g y z 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 g z x 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 g x y sigma x x sigma y y Sigma Z Z Sigma Y Z Sigma Z X Sigma X Y Display style begin B matrix var epsilon underscore X X var epsilon underscore Y Y var epsilon underscore Z Z two var epsilon underscore Y Z two var epsilon underscore Z X two var epsilon underscore X Y end B matrix equals begin B matrix frac one E underscore X and frac new underscore Y X E underscore Y and frac New underscore Z X E underscore Z and zero and zero and zero frac new underscore X Y E underscore X and frac one E underscore Y and frac new underscore Z Y E underscore Z and zero and zero and zero frac new underscore X Z E underscore X and frac new underscore Y Z E underscore Y and frac one E underscore Z and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and frac one one G underscore Y Z and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and frac one G underscore Z X and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and frac one G underscore X Y end B matrix begin B matrix Sigma underscore X X Sigma underscore Y Y Sigma underscore Z Z Sigma underscore Y Z Sigma underscore Z X Sigma underscore X Y end B matrix where A is the Young's module Modulus along axis i g i j is the shear modulus in direction j on the plane whose normal is in direction i nu i j is the Poisson's ratio that corresponds to a contraction in direction j when an extension is applied in direction i. Under plane stress conditions, sigma z z. Topic sigma z x. Sigma y z equals zero. Hooke's law for an orthotropic material takes the form epsilon x x epsilon y 
y 2 epsilon x y equals 1 e x minus mu y x e y 0 minus mu x y e x one e y o o o one g x y sigma x x sigma y y sigma x y display style begin b matrix var epsilon underscore x x var epsilon underscore y y two var epsilon underscore x y end b matrix equals begin b matrix frac one e underscore x and frac new underscore y x e underscore y and zero frac new underscore x y e underscore x and frac one e underscore y and zero zero and zero and frac one g underscore x y end b matrix Matrix begin B matrix sigma underscore x x sigma underscore y y sigma underscore x y end B matrix. The inverse relation is sigma x x sigma y y sigma x y equals one one minus new x y new y x e x new y x e x zero new x Y E Y E Y O O O G X Y one minus new X Y new Y X Epsilon X X Epsilon Y Y two Epsilon X Y Display style begin B matrix sigma underscore x x sigma underscore y y sigma underscore x y end B matrix equals frac one one new underscore x y new underscore y x begin B matrix e underscore x and new underscore y x e underscore x and zero new underscore x y e underscore y and e underscore y and zero zero and zero and g underscore x y one new underscore x y new underscore y x end b matrix begin b matrix var epsilon underscore x x var epsilon underscore y y two var epsilon underscore x y end b matrix the transposed form of the above stiffness matrix is also often used topic transversely isotropic materials A transversely isotropic material is symmetric with respect to a rotation about an axis of symmetry. For such a material, if E3 is the axis of symmetry, Hooke's law can be expressed as sigma 1 sigma 2 sigma 3 sigma 4 sigma 5 Sigma six equals C eleven C twelve C thirteen zero 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 C twelve C eleven C Thirteen zero 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 C thirteen C thirteen C thirty three zero 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 C Forty four zero 
0 0 0 0 0 c 44 0 0 0 0 0 0 c 11 minus c 12 2 epsilon 1 epsilon 2 epsilon 3 epsilon 4 epsilon 5 epsilon Six display style begin B matrix sigma underscore one sigma underscore two sigma underscore three sigma underscore four sigma underscore five sigma underscore six end B matrix equals begin B matrix C underscore eleven and C underscore twelve and C underscore thirteen and zero and zero and zero C underscore twelve and C underscore eleven and C underscore thirteen and zero and zero and zero Zero C underscore thirteen and C underscore thirteen and C underscore thirty three and zero and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and C underscore forty four and zero and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and C underscore forty four and zero zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and frac C underscore eleven C underscore twelve two end B matrix begin B matrix Verepsilon underscore one Verepsilon Verepsilon underscore two, Verepsilon underscore three, Verepsilon underscore four, Verepsilon underscore five, Verepsilon underscore six, end B matrix. More frequently, the XE one axis is taken to be the axis of symmetry, and the inverse Hooke's law is written as epsilon x x epsilon y y epsilon z z two epsilon y z two epsilon z x two epsilon x y equals one. E x minus new y x e y minus new y x e y zero 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 minus New x y e x one e y minus new y z e y zero 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 minus New x y e x minus new y z e y one e y zero 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 two plus two new y z e y zero 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 one g x y 0 0 0 0 0 0 1 g x 
Y Sigma X X Sigma Y Y Sigma Z Z Sigma Y Z Sigma Z X Sigma X Y Display style begin B matrix Verepsilon underscore X X Verepsilon underscore Y Y Verepsilon underscore Z Z two Verepsilon underscore Y Z two Verepsilon underscore Z X two Verepsilon underscore X Y end B matrix equals begin B matrix frac one E underscore X and frac new underscore underscore y x e underscore y and frac new underscore y x e underscore y and zero and zero and zero frac new underscore x y e underscore x and frac one e underscore y and frac new underscore y z e underscore y and zero and zero and zero frac new underscore x y e underscore x and frac new underscore y z e underscore y and frac one e underscore y and zero Zero and zero and zero, zero and zero and zero and frac two plus two new underscore Y Z E underscore Y and zero and zero, zero and zero and zero and zero and frac one G underscore X Y and zero, zero and zero and zero and zero and zero and frac one G underscore X Y end B matrix begin B matrix Sigma underscore X X Sigma underscore Y Y Sigma underscore Z Z Sigma underscore Y Z Sigma underscore ZX Sigma underscore XY and B matrix. Topic Universal Elastic Anisotropy Index To grasp the degree of anisotropy of any class, a universal elastic anisotropy index O was formulated. It replaces the Zener ratio, which is suited for cubic crystals. Topic: Thermodynamic basis. Linear deformations of elastic materials can be approximated as adiabatic. Under these conditions and for quasi-static processes, the first law of thermodynamics for a deformed body can be expressed as delta W equals delta U. Display style delta W equals delta U, where delta U is the increase in internal energy and delta W is the work done by external forces. The work can be split into two terms. Delta W equals delta W S plus delta W. B display style delta W equals delta W underscore mathram S plus delta W underscore mathram B where delta W is the work done by surface forces while delta W B is the work done by body forces. If delta U is a variation of the displacement field U in the body, then the two external work terms can be expressed as delta W S equals Omega T Delta U D S Delta W B equals Omega B Delta U D V Display style delta W underscore mathram S equals int underscore partial omega math BFT C D O T delta math BF U D S Q quad delta W underscore mathram B equals int underscore omega math BF B C D O T delta math BF U D V where T is the surface traction vector, B is the body force vector, omega represents the body and omega represents its surface. Using the relation between the Cauchy stress and the surface traction, T equals n sigma, where n is the unit outward normal to omega, we have delta W equals delta U equals omega n 
sigma delta u d s plus omega b delta u d v Display style delta W equals delta U equals int underscore partial omega math BF N C D O T bold symbol sigma C D O T delta math BF U D S plus int underscore omega math BF B C D O T delta math BF U D V Converting the surface integral into a volume integral via the divergence theorem gives delta U equals omega sigma delta u plus b delta u d v Display style delta u equals int underscore omega big nabla c d o t bold symbol sigma c d o t delta math b f u plus math b f b c d o t delta math b f u big d v. Using the symmetry of the Cauchy stress and the identity a b equals a b plus 1 2 a t b plus a b t display style nabla c d o t math b f a c d o t math b f b equals nabla c d o t math b f a c d o t math b f b plus t f r a c one two left math b f a carrot math s f t nabla math b f b plus math b f a sad face nabla math b f b carrot math s f t right we have the following Delta U equals Omega Sigma one two Delta U plus Delta U T plus Sigma plus B Delta U D V Display style delta U equals int underscore omega left bold symbol sigma T F R A C one two left Nabla delta Math B F U plus Nabla delta Math B F U carrot Math S F T right plus left Nabla C D O T bold symbol sigma plus Math B F B right C D O T delta Math B F U right D V from the definition of strain and from the equations of equilibrium we have delta epsilon equals 1 2 delta u plus delta u t sigma plus b equals Zero. Display style delta bold symbol for epsilon equals T F R A C one two left nabla delta math B F U plus nabla delta math B F U carrot math S F T right Q quad nabla C D O T bold symbol sigma plus math B F B equals math B F zero. Hence we can write delta u equals omega sigma delta epsilon d v display style delta u equals int underscore omega bold symbol sigma delta bold symbol ver epsilon dv and therefore the variation in the internal energy density is given by delta U 
zero equals sigma delta epsilon display style delta u underscore zero equals bold symbol sigma delta bold symbol for epsilon an elastic material is defined as one in which the total internal energy is equal to the potential energy of the internal forces also called the elastic strain energy. Therefore, the internal energy density is a function of the strains, U0 equals U0 epsilon, and the variation of the internal energy can be expressed as delta U0 equals U zero epsilon delta epsilon display style delta u underscore zero equals frac partial u underscore zero partial bold symbol ver epsilon delta bold symbol ver epsilon since the variation of strain is arbitrary the stress strain relation of an elastic material is given by sigma equals U zero epsilon display style bold symbol sigma equals frac partial u underscore zero partial bold symbol ver epsilon. For a linear elastic material, the quantity u zero epsilon is a linear function of epsilon and can therefore be expressed as sigma equals c epsilon. Display style bold symbol sigma equals math sf c bold symbol ver epsilon, where c is a fourth rank tensor of material constants, also called the stiffness tensor. We can see why c must be a fourth rank tensor by noting that for a linear elastic material, epsilon sigma epsilon equals constant equals c display style frac partial partial bold symbol ver epsilon bold symbol sigma bold symbol ver epsilon equals text constant equals math sf c in index notation sigma i j epsilon k l equals constant equals c i j k l display style frac partial sigma underscore i j partial ver epsilon underscore k l equals text constant equals c underscore i j k l the right hand side constant requires four indices and is a fourth rank quantity we can also see that this quantity must be a tensor because it is a linear transformation that takes the strain tensor to the stress tensor. We can also show that the constant obeys the tensor transformation rules for fourth rank tensors. Topic: See also Acoustoelastic effect Elastic potential energy Laws of science List of scientific laws named after people Quadratic form Series and parallel springs Spring system Simple harmonic motion of a mass on a spring Sine wave Solid mechanics Spring pendulum Notes <laughs>